Hi, I'm Robert Moncrief, President of H2O Engineering. Today, I want to show you our newest in ozone generation technology. This is our cabinet model. We also manufacture in the trailer units, shipping containers, and also skid mounted systems for our clientele. All of our systems feature our IntelliZone control logic theory. And the way the systems are set up is that you can sparge five different gases. Low flow, high concentration ozone, low flow, high purity oxygen, air, and then a blend of ozone and air, and a blend of oxygen and air. IntelliZone basically allows the operator to come in and program up to 100 steps. In each step, the operator can select any valve, he can do valve one five times in a row or ten times in a row. He can select any gas, air, ozone, ozone only, oxygen, all the same valve, three different steps in a row. And the dwell time, so how long each sparge well will actually sparge. All of our systems are UL certified, and that's very important for city permitting uh, when you put the system on site. They've got to bring power, and most cities want to see that you have a UL label. So let me go through the process flow with you uh, in our cabinet. What we do is we bring in ambient air, we cool it through an aftercooler, then we remove the moisture, and then into our oxygen concentrator. The oxygen concentrator just basically separates the nitrogen out of the air. From the oxygen concentrator, we go through our flow and pressure uh, mechanical indicators here, and then into our ozone reaction chamber. This is the heart. This is where everything is, uh, the ozone is generated. And the way the ozone is generated is basically the oxygen O2 molecule splits, has a radical O and latches onto other O2, forms the O3, which is ozone uh, inside the ozone reaction chamber. From there, we go into our ozone delivery pump. The ozone delivery pump then boosts the pressure because our ozone reaction chamber is operating at about 10 psi. It boosts the pressure to your sparge pressure that's out into the formation. So, for example, tighter formations, you're going to have a higher pressure. Okay, so it'll actually boost it up to a maximum of 50 psi. If you go above 50 psi, the system will actually go into automatic breakthrough. It'll shut down the oxygen and ozone side and just go into an airflow boost. Okay, like so again, the airflow boost, we bring ambient air in, cool it. Moisture removal, electronic measurement of flow, and then into the manifold. We're really excited about this technology and what it could be in the future. We hope you guys are too. And again, thank you very much for considering HO Engineering.